On the last episode of What We Know, we talked about more dev responses and some things that were posted on their Twitter. But now, let's move on to the next one. So it seems as if Void Interactive has been a little active on their Twitter, and this tweet kind of strikes me as someone who is like taking out a cop or something and like took over his comms, because this is what it says. Uh, everything's under control. Situation normal. Uh, had a slight Twitter malfunction, but uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here. Now, thank you. How are you? I think that might be a reference to Star Wars. <laughs> or, I don't know. Can somebody find this reference? Because I really want to know. It sounds fucking... It sounds really familiar, but I'm not entirely sure as to what it is. A couple of the people that were in my Discord were saying, Was Void hacked? And no, they're, they're screwing with you. <laughs> they're screwing with you. They're trying to do some kind of reference. Which I have to wonder if that's going to be used anywhere in the game or if it's, they're just referencing something from a movie. Edit. So when this post came out, I didn't actually realize that it was May the 4th. <laughs> May the 4th be with you. Everything's perfectly all right now. We're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Anyway, moving on to the next one. We are doing some more Reddit posts. Yay! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Anyone else think that the voice acting audition line, If you don't put the gun down, I am going to blow your head off! Was that a place for a SWAT officer? Yeah, you know, I thought that too. Because, you know, I'm over here playing SWAT and all I hear is, Down on the ground! Get down! Like, those kind of things. But, uh... Yeah, it, it sounded a little out of place to me. Like, when an officer actually say that, like, I, I'd imagine, like, if he's getting shot at, yeah, he'd say something like that. But, you know, if you're telling someone to get down, I don't think he would start cursing at them. And then there's the link for the voice acting. I know it's probably not a finalized line, but it seems weird, in my opinion. Awkward, even. Maybe it's just me, but I can't see a SWAT officer saying that seriously. I know, right? Like, <laughs> that's what I thought. I already talked about it with other voice acting stuff in a post here, but I just wanted to shorten it, so hopefully other people would read and give their opinion. And the developer replies with, It is best not to look into it much. The land was written by our managing director at Void to test the site out. It's just a happenstance that you managed to find it. Besides, if an actor can say an awkward voice line well, then that's someone worth investing time into. And that's all they got to say about that. Let's push on to the next one. I'm a Siege player and this game seems very interesting. Oh boy, another one. I found this game from a friend of mine and it seems amazing. I know it's an alpha, but is there a way to play the alpha version? Or do we have to wait for the full release? And it wasn't the devs that replied to him, it was somebody else saying that uh, the devs have stated that they want to avoid all problems with early access. They secured an investor, so they have the money to finish the game to completion. I doubt we'll see much of a pre-release playing. And the developer didn't actually reply to this guy in particular. He replied to something saying, let's hope they use some of that money for a decent anti-cheat. And the developer replies with, I don't remember saying we'd use any type of anti-cheat and regardless, I'm not qualified to talk to about what we're going to use. That's interesting. Hmm. And that's pretty much all he has to say. So I'm going to push on to the next one. On to the next, on, on to the next one. Can you release the video on the website? I'm not sure what they mean by this. So let's read it. Opening up the link, this brings us to the website itself. I don't know why he put that there. On the top of the website is a looping video. Oh, that's what he means. Can you release that as a YouTube video? Just so we could get a better look? Maybe as an anniversary gift? And the developer replies with, Video is old footage, not representative of what we have now. You can find a video on YouTube now anyways. And the person below him says, Here you go. And it's basically footage that was shot by the math chief? Math, math chief? Math? I'm not entirely sure as to who this guy is, but I know he's done a lot of videos with uh, police videos. But anyhow, let's move on to the next one. I want to know more about Void Interactive. So I was wanting to know more about you, the developers, and Void Interactive as a whole. However, I haven't found too much about you guys. Where is Void Interactive located? How do you guys get started? Are you a big developer team? I am specifically interested because I've been looking into game development as a career path. And to put it simply, the game you are making is the one I've been waiting for. 
for, and nothing would make me happier than working on this project with this vision. And the developer didn't reply, at first, but somebody else did. From what I know, it's made up of three guys. They met in New Zealand on another project. Stu and Hugh Gunter are the artists, and Ryan, you Ryans, is the programmer. Stu specializes in weapon art and design, while Gunter specializes in character art and design. Each team member has had around three to four years of experience. I believe each of them dabble in other fields and don't stick to just what their professions are. The team has been together for a little over two years and has worked on Ready or Not for around a year of that. And the developer replies with, Not bad, not bad. But we met before we decided to make Ready or Not. Cool, cool, cool. E3? Subvoid Interactive, are you going to present Ron at E3 2018? Cheers. Now the developer replies with, E3 is really expensive and honestly, the benefit isn't that major. Releasing a trailer around that time would be about the same benefit, but we're holding out, won't be too long. And then a person replies with, E3 trailer confirmed. And the developer says, not likely, but around that time, we're cooking up some pretty tasty juice up. Is that going to be the game trailer? Moving on to the next one. And the piece de resistance is the last one. Will there be classes? Would like it to be like Battlefield, where you have the engineer, medic, etc. But in this case, it should be shield, assault, etc. Or will it be weapons that are picked upon your playstyle? Either is cool. And the developer replies with no classes. Woo wee! Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, SWAT 4, just pick all your shit that you want to go in with. Alright, well, that marks the end of our video. If you would like to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and click that bell button to get more uh, of these videos. And I will catch you in the next one. Join the Discord if you want to, you know, talk to me. Bye-bye. <laughs>